Pastor Dave. Yes, then uh, let's start off with the headlines of the standard. Mr. President, now deliver. So it, I guess that is the posture taken by this particular headline that we already have a president. Mm -hmm. He's president-elect, and it looks like now there's no stopping, there's no pulling back. Constitutionally, he is to be sworn in today, and from 10 o'clock, that's what we're expecting to happen. But uh, he definitely has, uh, you know, a full entry in terms of what he needs to do. Number one being the fact that we are very divided nation. Right, right. And uh, where he takes us from here is really uh, what many are waiting to see. Right, and uh, some have said that that is actually what stands out uh, with what he needs to do now. How does he um, go ahead with a country that's very polarized, almost divided right in the middle in mm. terms of uniting uh, you know, the country? And some of the questions have been because he said that he was going to reach out to uh, the opposition leader, Raila Odinga, mm -hmm. after... After uh, his swearing, swearing in. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. So that, that is expected to take place. And we've already had, I think on Sunday, he did mention that he's reaching out to the opposition mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and saying that they should, the, the, at some point he had also said that this politicking uh, should stop and uh, try to reuni reunite the country. But, Sharon, the truth of the matter is it's not that simple. Right. It seems easier said than done. Because when we talk about uniting the country, it's not just the president or Raila, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sitting in a boardroom and saying, let's unite the country. There are several historical injustices that possibly have been left uh, and uh, taken care of uh, for a long time. There's also the electoral process that, of course, had a lot of uh, um, questions right. raised out of it and the opposition even pulling out. So those are issues that are staring literally at the president and how he's going to navigate this is really a matter of us to wait and see. Absolutely. And in the face of uh, an opposition and its supporters who have said they will not recognize uh, his presidency. Mm. So even what will the, be the framework of that conversation mm. is some of the issues that, uh, you that know, we'll stand out. See, yeah. But also on the, on the front page, as we can see, we do have a number of envoys who are expected. And uh, we can see here we've got the likes of Benjamin Netanyahu. We have the likes of uh, John Pombe Magufuli, who are expected into the country. So a lot of pomp and fair and color expected mm -hmm. in today's inauguration. Absolutely. A, a total of 11 presidents, actually, and uh, two prime ministers mm -hmm. uh, who have confirmed to come. Maybe just to mention uh, those presidents, we expect mm -hmm. Salva Kiir of South Sudan, Paul Kagame of Rwanda, John Magufuli of Tanzania, Yoweri Museveni of Uganda, Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed of Somali, Ismail Ora, uh, Omar of Djibouti, and uh, President Pohamba of Namibia, Faure Nasibe of Togo, Ali Bongo Ondimba of Gabon, and Edgar Lungu of Zambia, and Serese Ian Hama of Botswana. Those are 11 presidents who have wow. confirmed to be there. We also have two prime ministers, that is Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Ethiopian Prime Minister Haile Mariam uh, Desale. Mm. Uh, so quite, um, it looks like a stamp of approval right. from the international community. Because one of the questions that was being asked is which countries have actually congratulated the president. And remember, initially State House was a little bit mum about mm. that. They said, for now, we can tell you very many. But uh, I think when I listened to the State House spokesperson, uh, Manoa Sipisu, he mentioned around 40 congratulation messages, messages coming in. Right. But again, today, seeing a number of uh, presidents coming in is also, mm -hmm. um, well, I show that, well, they have stamped their approval and said, well, we're supporting Kenya in this way that you're going. Absolutely. And the foreign ministry actually confirmed that they have, they will be hosting 43 envoys altogether mm. uh, coming in for this, uh, you know, swearing in. All right. So that's ceremony. what we have as, as the main story on uh, the standard.